Tonight we're going to do something special. We're going to make some chicken pot pie. And what we're using is chicken that we had cooked earlier in the week and refroze it. She baked this. Uh, so we took the skins off, took them off the bones, uh, basically thighs and legs. And uh, so what I have here is two russet potatoes that are cut up already and one white sweet onion. And I'm going to dump that in this kettle. And, and the thing is with this is you only want to bring your water up just, just past it. We're going to cook this for just a bit. <clears throat> and then we're going to take this chicken broth. And you can buy any brand. It doesn't matter. Take the chicken broth and dump this in here. And then put the green beans in for just for a couple minutes before I do the peas and carrots. Uh, and then the chicken will go in and uh, just stay with us for a little while. We'll take, it through, take you through it. And uh, it's going to be delicious. We'll see you in a bit. Because one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's pretty good right there. And this pan I sprayed with uh, spray oil. People can use whatever they want. I use the spray mm -hmm. olive oil. You're adding cornstarch to anything, don't stir it up fast. You add it slowly and then you stir slowly. I always recommend to make it in a glass or a coffee cup. Oh boy, this really smells good. Got black Himalayan salt in it and uh, pepper. That's all, besides the chicken broth. Once those potatoes were partially cooked, then I added the more of the uh, more vegetable. I added a whole bunch of uh, chicken broth and uh, added the green beans and then the peas and carrots on top of that. And I let those cook a little bit. And then at, at the end, once everything was just right, we add the chicken. It was three thighs and I think four legs. Or it was the other way. It was one or the other. <laughs> Plenty of meat in there though. And me, I'm a big fan of the vegetable. Pretty good. It smells wonderful. The broth is really the best. Now, what, some most of the time, like when uh, Mrs. Barbecue makes this, she literally boils the chicken, and you know we use the broth and all that. But she's also done it with uh, a roasted chicken, which is also very good. So depends on how what kind of flavor you want. It's going to be good. This is going to be done on a grill. And what's left over is basically your soup, which is great. Just eat the soup. Mm -hmm.
so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a couple, just slice it, you see? My wife is the one who's, uh, this is my first time ever, and we're actually doing this on the grill, so just like start this. In the, start in the middle. Right here? Yeah. And about that, like that? Yeah. And then do some, like in here, and here, okay. and here. And this is folded in half to do that. Oh, I get it now. This is going to look so good when it's done. Uh, I, I want that grilled flavor. Might be too aggressive with your cats. Okay. It's that just, should be good. It's just kind of a venting. Yeah. Okay. And, and I'm just going to move <clears throat> this out of the way real quick. Everything here is clean. Okay. Now, let me get this pot of goodies. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Mm. We're going to spoon this in. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks real good. Uh, this has black Himalayan pepper in it. And, or black Himalayan salt, I'm sorry, rock salt. Oh god, that smells really good. And uh, uh, just black pepper. And then I did add uh, just a little bit of sea salt. She's the one that knows how to cook with sea salt. So uh, it's a little bit of a different... Uh, I, I usually tend to overdo it, so I, I really didn't put that much. I just wanted to flavor it up a little bit. And I love the dark meat of the chicken. You know, in, anytime you buy these, like from uh, a store or something like that, they always, it's all about the white meat. And uh, uh, I like, personally, in my family, my wife does like the breast, but she also likes legs. So... Uh, as far as white meat goes, I'm a, I'm a wing guy. I just love chicken wings. So I think one more scoop ought to make this look awesome. Because um, the rest of this, it's going to be frozen. And we can even actually have a bowl of it as soup. Think that's enough, honey, or just maybe a little yeah, bit? Keep going. Okay. See how I'm, uh, like I say, it doesn't matter how many years you've been cooking. You can still learn great things. My friend Daniela... Today, uh, we had we visit each other online. She lives in the UK, and she turned me on to a, which I'm going to do very soon, a, uh, a cauliflower pizza. So, Kids. Well, they, they got polar out there, so. Don't add that in, and you're good. Okay. Oh man, that looks so good. So we're gonna just put this back on the stove. I want to have a bowl of this right now. Well, this is something the kids can have yep. to hold them over till it's late here, guys. But uh, we just sometimes on the weekends we just want to relax. Uh, Mrs. Barbecue is taking the whole weekend off as far as uh, sitting down, relaxing, watching whatever she wants to watch, and uh, she's helping me out here, of course. But uh, yeah, I, I love it when she gets a chance to just relax. So uh, it makes for a better uh, companion too so I'm just saying okay let's do the best we can here oh that's actually going to be okay I'm pretty sure that we're going to make this work okay go out and get the coal started and uh, you kind of want to pinch it to that edge okay so it so it keeps it sealed up. Okay. Um, Since you don't have the the other half of it coming up, just pinch it right to the pan, and you'll be good. Okay. Gosh, I almost feel like a Doverman. <laughs> I'm here all week, folks. <coughs> Push and squeeze. Push and squeeze. Okay. Push, squeeze. Push and squeeze. Push. Oh, I like that. Looks cool. Yeah. Mine look better than yours. How about that? <laughs> oh, my, my belly's just a growling. That's one of my favorite meals is chicken soup. And uh, so I might just have a little bit of that to hold me over. Pinch and squeeze. And to protect this pan, uh, I've got it, some aluminum foil underneath it. Oh my 
my gosh. Mm. So that's seasoned just right as far as the pepper goes and stuff. Mm. I'm gonna have, of course, Mrs. Barbecue's the one that knows how to do this. So give her a taste real quick. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna cook nice and then have that that grilled flavor on that crust. Mm -hmm. So all right. It's gonna be very nice. Oh my gosh. Guys, I really appreciate this every week, you guys, and I get some uh, some of my regulars like Ida and Uncle Bones and and uh, Cheese Freak and you guys, man, even my newest people, thank you, man. This this makes it worth it. This is at least I'm doing something where people are enjoying it. So I can't wait to tr share this uh, recipe that Daniela gave me today. Uh, you can look it up. She sent me, but the way you make it your own, and uh, you know she she's the one that taught me about uh, uh, Yorkshire pudding. Oh God, that stuff is good. So uh, I'm gonna get this on the barbecue and uh, on the grill, barbecue, coals, and uh, oh God, my belly. We're gonna we're gonna we'll bring you back and get to witness some deliciousness. So all right, see ya. Mm-hmm. Get a load of that. Mm-hmm. Here we have the pie. Oh my gosh. This is oh I'm so excited. Okay, we got this up to temperature. Put this right here. And a couple of times I'll have to come out and kind of turn it. Um, because there's where uh, the coals are over there, so you want your indirect heat. I love this barbecue. back in a little while I don't need to bring you out here for me to bring it in the house this is gonna go for probably 40 minutes or so uh, and I do have I did put a few mesquite coals in here just to give that crust a little tease since there's chicken in there and everything so I'm hoping to get a, a nice brown coating on the top so ooh. F this pot pie is done and look at it straight off the uh, grill Oh my gosh, I'm just going to kind of do some cutting here, and uh, oh my gosh, it's just, it's, whew, it's beautiful. So let's do this. Oh yeah. Oh heck yeah. Mm. Oh man. I think that would be just fine leaving it like this. So we're just going to go. It's so pretty. We'll go. We want good portions. Oh god, it smells so good. Stop. <laughs> god. Let's just take one right out of the... It's hot. Okay, here we go. And look at that. Whew. Oh my gosh, look at that. Go ahead and make sure that we got okay. So we did get the, the bottom crust. Throw a little bit of this extra on here. Mmm. Oh gosh. Oh. Try a little piece of this crust here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get a fork. Mmm. 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 Mm. Boy, that crust is delicious. Um. Let's just go ahead. I know this is hot. This is real hot, but we're going to try this A little piece of the crust. Oh boy. Mm. I'll sing that little song. <laughs> that little song that going to burn your mouth. I taught my kids when I when we say get a fork and then we go it's an orc of a dork of a fork. <laughs> a fork 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 a fork 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 it's an orc of a dork of a fork. Here we go. Oh, 
<laughs> Blooper reel. Um, let me get a little drink here real quick. <laughs> blow on that. Oh my gosh. Mm. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Boy. Hmm. That pie crust is perfect. So I'm gonna oh my gosh. The chicken is perfect. I wanna get a little probably smaller than that. I gotta get Mrs. <laughs> Barbecue a bite. Um so that bottom crust came out perfect too. So we're gonna what we're gonna do here <laughs> we is we're gonna get a high powered right fan and go. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, that is delicious. So we all had the soup part of it early on because you know it was it was already getting late. So oh my gosh, um, I'm gonna blow on this. <laughs> it's like you're loving it. <laughs> For my darling. I'm still steaming now. Oh, see that? <laughs> mm. Yeah. This I mean, is. That looks a lot bigger than what you took. Yeah. It's truly delicious, I can tell you that. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So you can do this. So if you're out camping, uh, just use your fire coals, but separate them. Uh, I always bring like barbecue coals with me, too. And uh, this is something very easy. This took an hour and a half. Uh, this is something very easy that you can enjoy while you're out in the forest camping. It's, it, just bring it all individually and put it together, and it, you can do this. I, I promise you, this is delicious. But I really need help on, uh, I want to make a beef pot pie, but more than that, I want to make a deer pot pie. So uh, if somebody out there can help me out with that, uh, give me a recipe, and I'll do it, and I'll give you the credit for it, too. And I'm going to do it on barbecue. So uh, this is amazing. Thank you guys always for being here. And uh, I, I'm very uh, I'm very happy that, that you guys are here for me. So God bless. We'll see you later.